Welcome back to Scale Speedworks. My name's Mike. I'll show you guys. I did a little reorganizing. So I have all my glues, everything over there. I just moved all my testers paints over here that are all super accessible. I have my putty. And then over here, we got some glue. We got some DuraClear high gloss. And then I have this stuff, which I like to use for mock-ups. Really, really good stuff. Got my little workspace. This is my build space and my film space. It's what I got. And I'll show you, this is on a tool cabinet. So let's take a look. This is the only drawer that I have stuff in. Screwdrivers, we got standard and Phillips. And this is my little storage area. Just a little bit of sandpaper. I've got a couple of extra blades here, tweezers, just random stuff. Not a lot of it, not all of it, but this is where I keep some of it that I use on a regular basis. So the thing that I just got that really helped was these acrylic shelves right here. So these shelves are, I want to say maybe 15 by two. They're deep enough to hold all the Tamiya paint bottles. So I put those up, leveled those out. They do come with little caps on the end so your paint won't fall off. So that is really helpful. And then for the back, and you probably can't really see it, but I used a double stick tape on here, just stuck it to the side of the bench, got everything in there. These paints fit, no problem on, uh, on those little shelves. I'll leave a link for those shelves in the description. Just bought them on Amazon in case you guys want to pick some up for yourself. This is my spray booth. Very, very fancy. Very dirty. And I don't know how I get anything actually painted or cleaned in here. But I do have a fan. I turn that on every once in a while when I'm working. So spray booth, but really, really happy about these paint racks. Now, down here, I have some of the spray paints that I just bought. Um, oh, let me talk about this for a second. Tester's Extreme Lacquer. Haven't used it yet, but I just picked up some at Hobby Lobby. Look at that price. $8.29. Oh, I got the same exact can with no $8.29 price tag. I picked this up at Joann's. Yeah, the fabric store. This was $2.97. $3. Less than half the price of that same exact can that I got at Hobby Lobby. $2.97. All they have is the Tester's Extreme Lacquer. They do have some Rust-Oleum paints, but they have a sale, and I don't know if it's once a month or it's every two weeks, how often, but if you have one close to you, highly, highly suggest going to Joann's and check it out. They don't have a huge selection, but for $2.97, not too much you can complain about there. So back here... Again, I just did this. I have kind of crap everywhere. But I have a bin, and that holds all of my craft paint. So, for the most part, they do have stickers on the lids, or you can tell what color they are. Uh, so far, so good. A couple of tubes of uh, the good old toxic tester's paint. And uh, just in case, I got some of the non-toxic stuff as well. But uh, recently, again, reorganized that. Really happy about that. That plastic bin that the craft paints are in, I picked it up probably at Target, I want to say, for just a couple bucks. But it's been really, really helpful. So I wanted to share this with you guys as well. And you're probably like, hey, what the hell is this? What are we looking at? So this is an 11 by 14 shadow box. I picked this up 
at Hobby Lobby. One of the reasons I got this is because it's solid wood. The exterior frame is solid wood. It's built, eh, it's built fairly well. But for my purposes, it's going to be perfect. And you might say, well, what, what the heck? What am I going to use a shadow box for? Well, I'm going to show you. So you guys can see this is maybe uh, two inch. So two inch deep. Take this off. So we have some pins and this is a padded backing here. That could probably just be ripped right off, which is probably what I'm going to do. But, and unfortunately, it looks like the glass uh, doesn't come out, but not a big deal. I'm going to fix that, or should I say break that later. So, this is what I'm going to use, and I'm probably not going to do it this year. Unfortunately, I'm going to apologize in advance to Mars over at Mars Garage. This is my plan for a diorama. Yep, I'm gonna do a diorama for the Rust Bucket group build. Not this year, not gonna make it. But what I'm gonna do, yep, that is real glass. I got this stuff at Home Depot. This is one inch, two foot by two foot project panel. So this is just foam foam insulation one inch foam board and yep i'm going to cut that to fit so that's going to go in here so once you have a shadow box you already have a you, you cut this to size you already have a frame and a base for your diorama for anybody that wants to build a diorama base get some of this stuff you see it's already been cut i picked this up i got 50 percent off because this already had a, it had a, a cut in it. Or it was one piece and it had been cut. This, this is expensive stuff. It's not, it's not cheap, but for a base to start out, this is gonna be awesome. It's gonna do a hell of a job. And with the shadow box, it's gonna give you plenty of room if you wanna wire stuff, or if you wanna stick a tree down into here, you have a solid base and you have a solid frame. So. Again, this is going to be for a rust bucket group build, uh, but I'm sorry, Mars. It's, it's just not going to happen this year. Oh, and the best part, kind of, that's expensive, uh, $33, but they were 50% off. So keep an eye on Hobby Lobby. And if you're going to pick one of these up, buy it when they're 50% off. And that's probably every other week. So I got two for the price of one. So something to look out for. All right. Hey, I appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next one.